Hello viewers, today we're going to be cleaning out a Dell Optiplex 9020 all-in-one computer. I don't usually dabble with these all-in-one units that much, but I'll give it a shot. It's got some damage to the upper right corner of the display there, but it still works fine. Unfortunately, I've noticed a lot of these touchscreen models are very fragile. Anyways, depending on what kind of memory this has, maybe I'll upgrade the memory as well. I was kind of impressed with the port assortment on this thing. It still has PS2 mouse and keyboard inputs. And really, it's got all the ports you would need other than audio in. This is from uh, 2014. It shipped with Windows 8, but it does support Windows 7 as well. And that's what I've put on there for now. So, this. I believe this has to come up and off like this. And then. No, there's only two screws in there. There must be four screws in there. Let's see what size bit we need here. It's a good fit. These things are pretty heavy. I don't like that this is only put up with two screws. I'll have to check and see if I have any more of those floating around. I may have them somewhere. Okay. Now with that removed, I believe the cover just kind of pries off. Maybe not. This could be more complicated than I thought it was. Oh, you know what? It looks like it looks like this whole piece here wants to come off too. So we may have to take all these four screws out as well, which is somewhat of a nuisance. That's one of the reasons why I typically don't like these kind of computers, because they're usually a pain in the neck to get open. There we go. That's not too bad, really. Alright, so we have inside of here, I believe the memory slot is going to be this thing right here. And this has, has two slots. We have one 8 gigabyte stick of DDR3 or 4. Let's see if I have let's see if I have something to put in there. Uh, this is all old. I have to grab something from the other box. Found another stick. So we have 16. I don't need 16, but I've got it floating around, so might as well put it in the computer. 
Ain't doing any good sitting in a box. Okay. So we have one V in here, which I believe is for the power supply. Um, I wonder if it's. We need to really draw the air from that side. So let's see if I can open that up real quick and get that cleaned out. That's good enough, I think. This thing is starting to deplete. I gotta grab another one. We just wanna make sure the power supply remains clean. Seems like it's pretty clean. Okay, that's good for that. Whoops. So I'll dust on the uh, inside of there too. Okay. Okay, now we'll clear out the CPU VN. That wasn't too bad. And yeah, make sure the ports are all clear. So. And that should do it. screws back in the bottom stand I checked my pocket of screws and I did not see any in there so I'll just put it back with the two for now I'm pretty sure that's not correct I think that was some kind of an assembly error when it was put together originally but it's lasted this long I don't think it's gonna start having a problem now
Okay, and that slips back on over it. And that's it. Cleaned and upgraded. And this is where the air come out. Um, there's nothing really to clean there. You can you can see right through it, right to the radiator, and it's all clear.